Welcome to the Basics of Model UN, presented by Duo Moon. Chapter 1 Who is who? In this chapter, we will have a look at the role of the individual participants in a Model UN simulation. Before we begin, however, we must first set the stage for our presentation. Imagine this line to represent a division of participants into two dissimilar groups. The largest of these groups are delegates of various countries or international organizations. The smallest group can consist of one, two, three or more people and is a so-called dice. We will begin by looking at the role of the dice and later move on to look at the special representative of the delegates. Our idealized dice consists of three people. A rapporteur, a chair and a director. The rapporteur is responsible for roll call, for keeping the speakers list and for counting during voting procedure. The chair is responsible for keeping track of speaker's time and most importantly he hands or takes away a delegate's right to speak. The director is responsible for working papers and draft resolutions coming in from the delegates. Among delegates there is only one kind of specialization. From among their own, delegates may elect one or several to pass notes between delegates. These are the so-called pages. Chapter 2. A typical session. The session begins with the director making a roll call. All further roll calls will be conducted by the rapporteur. In this roll call, Delegates may state whether their country is present or present in voting. Should they announce themselves as present in voting, they cannot abstain from substantial matters. Next, the delegate from Russia will motion to set the agenda order. As this is in order at this time, delegates can now vote upon it. Delegates may either vote in favor or a post, depending on their preference. As this is a procedural vote, they may not abstain. This motion clearly passes. A speaker's list is then established for the new topic. This is done by member states submitting their name to the rapporteur, who compiles them into a list and puts this list up for everyone to see. The chair will then hand the right to speak to the various countries in order of the speakers list. A country is then removed from the speakers list. However, Austria will be out of luck this time, as Russia motions for a caucus. The director approves of this motion and therefore it is now being voted upon. Austria is obviously opposed while the rest of the committee appears to be in favor. This motion clearly passes. We are now in an unmoderated caucus. Delegates are able to walk around freely or leave the room. They may talk to one another for negotiations or have a cup of coffee. After the amount of time specified in the motion has elapsed, we will return to formal session. We are now back in formal session. During the unmoderated caucus, two working papers were produced, which are now being sent to the director. The director will check them for style and grammar and send them back if they are insufficient. Should they meet the requirements, the director may approve of them. Luckily, one of the working papers has found the approval of the director. It is now being introduced 
as working paper 1.1 and distribute it to all participants. Usually, we would not continue with the general speakers list. However, there is a motion from China to move into immediate voting procedure. This is in order and therefore put to a vote. Again, for a procedural vote, delegates may move in favor or opposed, but not abstain. This time, it is unanimous, however. This motion clearly passes. We are now in voting procedure. Because of this, delegates may not enter or leave the room. Also, only a limited number of motions is in order. As the motion is put to a vote, this will be substantial. Therefore, delegates may vote opposed, in favor, or they may abstain. As this motion passes, our session ends with the passage of a draft resolution. Chapter 3. What to avoid. Violating the dress code. Delegates not adhering to the dress code or displaying national symbols may be removed from the room by the director until they get changed. Not speaking English. Speaking a language other than English during a model year in session is considered extremely rude, as not all participants can understand you. We therefore ask you to refrain from such behavior. Interrupting other speakers. When a delegate holds the floor, it is considered extremely impolite to interrupt him with a speech, a motion or a point. Please refrain from doing so. Entering or leaving during voting procedure. It is, under no circumstance, short of a medical emergency, allowed to enter or leave the room during voting procedure, regardless of the reasons. Disrespectful behavior. Insulting members of other delegations or getting into fights is considered extremely undiplomatic. Also, please. This rule also applies to messages to the dice. Sexual harassment. This most extreme form of improper behavior will not only ruin the fun for everyone, but also lead to the perpetrator being expelled from the conference and potentially to face criminal charges. Delegates possess a defense against some minor violations, the so-called right of reply. Should your personal or national integrity be severely attacked, you may send a right of reply in writing to the rapporteur. If the director approves it, you will be given a chance to read it out. Thank you for watching. Also visit us on www.duemoon.de.